Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Friday, January 29th, 2021, and today will be the last trading day of January. So what I want to do today is take a look at what has happened historically on the last trading day of the month in a similar market environment. We've been seeing some selling here recently, so we're in a little bit mar different market environment than uh, what we have seen over the past a handful of last trading days of the month. So this should be a little bit different than what we're used to uh, digging into around the last of the month. So let me go ahead and set this up and discover. We're going to be looking at all four instruments. Setup's going to be based upon entering the market long at the open, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. And exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now for opening filters, we are currently trading down and most of the instruments there is one that is the russell is a little bit stronger than the others but we're down in all of the others which just means we're trading below yesterday's close uh this is something you might want to dig into a little bit deeper as we get closer to the open but i'm just going to keep it simply as a gap down to try to keep uh, more samples in this study as opposed to getting too specific here right away. Uh, but you can dig into this as we get closer to the open on your own. Uh, next, I'm going to go into indicators, and I'm going to put us in a similar market environment where, uh, you know, we have sold off here recently. We are currently below a 10-day simple moving average, but we're still well above the 200-day simple moving average. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then last, I'm going to go into the calendar section. I'm going to say that it is the last trading day of the month. That's available here in our unique days category here in the calendar library. I'm going to hit equals next to last trading day of the month. That'll add that to the study. And now I can hit view results. And here we go. These are the results of going long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you are opening below the prior day close on the last trading day of the month in a weak bullish environment. I'm defining that weak bullish environment as below a 10-day simple moving average, but above a 200-day simple moving average. Now, this one doesn't happen all that often. We don't have a huge sample size here. Uh, we've only got 18 samples in the S&P. We've got 22 in the NASDAQ, 24 in the Dow, and 18 in the Russell. And if we look at the S&P, quite weak here historically. Uh, you're looking at just a 28% win rate. It's not a big sample size, so do keep that in mind. But uh, the samples that have happened have been a bit weaker. Uh, the NASDAQ a little bit weaker as well at 41% uh, winners there. And again, small sample sizes here. Uh, Dow, a little bit uh, more neutral at 54%. And Russell with 61%. So Russell the strongest, but again, very small sample sizes here on that one as well. If we take a look at the average win, average loss, uh, average win a little bit bigger in the S&P than the average loss. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger in the NASDAQ, and that looks like it's being driven by uh, one major outlier. Um, and that can really skew it when you have small sample sizes. You can see that kind of outlier right here, this orange spike in the NASDAQ equity curve. So it looks like it caught a big win uh, recently. But other than that, uh, the equity curve looks pretty smooth. So it looks like it's probably just an outlier that's doing that. Uh, with the Dow, looks like the average loss is bigger than the average win there. And then with the Russell, they're not too far off considering their smaller sample sizes as well. Uh, but if we look at this as a group, it looks like a uh, S&P, NASDAQ, a little bit weaker. That's not the case with Dow and Russell, for whatever reason, has been a little bit stronger. So kind of some mixed numbers going on uh, between the, the four instruments here this morning. But hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you want to dig into it a little bit further, uh, you can play around with some different opening filters. Uh, you can change the opening filters around a little bit and grab some more samples, and you will uh, see some weaker results still. So... Um, depending on how you look at it, but I'll let you guys dig into that. Or if you, uh, if you join me in the room this morning, we can look at those together. Uh, good luck today, and we will see you next time.